yes countable and uncountable nouns the difference between common countable nouns like boy girl book and uncountable nouns like iron gold bread is very important the rules given earlier for forming the plurals of nouns apply only to countables uncountable nouns are seldom used in plural for example noun like bread furniture gold silver milk water should be used only in a singular form however there are special words and phrases for expressing quantities of uncountable nouns as much water much water gold bread smoke or little a little the little gold meat milk a large amount of a small amount of or a great for example two loaves of bread five pieces of furniture a few drops of milk two slices of meat now let's talk about gender <clears throat> at page number 7 of your brighter grammar book number 1 a noun which denotes a male is of the masculine gender man boy horse lion number 2 a noun which denotes a female animal is of is of the feminine gender woman girl male lioness Number three, a noun which denotes an animal of either sex is of common gender: child, cousin, friend, pupil, student, teacher. Number four, a noun which denotes a lifeless, lifeless thing is of neuter gender, like stone, brick, river. These are called the neuters. They don't have a gender. Number five, abstract, collective, and material nouns are of the neuter gender. Some nouns which denote lifeless objects are of the masculine gender: sun, summer, winter, ocean, death, war. When these are not considered as personified, they are the neuter gender. Number seven, some nouns which denote lifeless objects are of the feminine gender. The earth, the moon, a ship, a railway, uh, mercy, spring, truth. <coughs> But if you call them neuter gender, <coughs> uh, 
but if you call them neuter gender, you will not be considered wrong. Masculine and feminine forms of certain persons, animals, and birds. Masculine and feminine. Actor, actress, author, authoress, bachelor, maid, bridegroom, bride, brother, sister, buck, doe, bull, cow, cock, hen, cold, filly, dog, bitch, drake, duck, emperor, empress, fox, vixen, gentleman, lady, heart, row, hear, heiress, hero, heroine, husband, wife. These are the meaning. Horse, mare, host, hostess, <coughs> Jew, Jew, Jewess, king, queen, lord, lady, loin, loiness, master, mistress, monk, nun, um, negro, negress, nephew, niece, peacock, peahen, poet, poetess, priest, Priestess, priestess, sir, madam, son, daughter, stag, hind, tiger, tigress, uncle, aunt, widower, widow, wizard, witch. Now exercise four. <clears throat> Give the feminine of bridegroom, peacock. Hero, son, king, father, drag, duck. Give the masculine of last girl, hand, filly, cow, hostess, mama, vixen, witch, and vixen. See, give the opposite gender of author, tailor, nigress, milk, maid, mistress. So, students, I've done some work for you. I've done the Exercises for you, D3, chapter number four. Exercise number four. Uh, A is bride, peahen, heroine, daughter, queen, mother, duck, doe. Doe is a female deer. B, lad, young man or boy, or the lad. Boy, cock, cold. Cold is young male horse. Okay. Bull, horse, horse, papa, wizard. Male magician is called a wizard. Fox. See, authoress, tailoress, negro, milkman, and master. Next is exercise five. Rewrite the following sentences, changing the gender of the noun where, of, uh, where possible and making other necessary changing. Now we have to change the gender of uh, the nouns. These are only 10 sentences. I'll read the sentences. Uh, his elder sister is a maid. Now, his uh, means a, something belong to a male person. Her elder Sister opposite brother is a maid. Is a <clears throat> what is the opposite of maid? We have done this here. Maid, the opposite of maid is a servant or a bachelor. <clears throat> Number two, the dog chased my uncle, nephew, mother, and sister in law. The hunter killed a lion and a, um, lion, a tiger, and a buck. Number four, the girl said to the headmistress, Madam, I have to attend my sister's marriage. Please grant me leave. The doctor said to the patient, your father has come. Number six, my brother has two oxen, four hands, two horses, and one cow. 
Number seven, the Sultan told the porter to carry the prince to the palace. Number eight, she keep beef, ducks, geese, and colts. The the landlord and his wife are both away. One minute. Yes, so we were at number nine. The landlord and his wife are both away. Number ten, the monk played the part of the hero. So the answers are here. Move on. Her elder brother is a servant or a bachelor. Both are equivalent. Both are in use. Number two, the bitch chased my aunt, niece, niece and father and brother-in-law. Number three, the huntress killed a lion, a tigress and a doe. Number four, the boy said to the headmaster, comma, inverted commas, sir, comma, I have to attend my brother's marriage, to stop, please, comma, grant me leave, inverted comma, close, full stop. This is the, uh, these are the compulsions to, to write the direct indirect. So be careful about the inverted commas, about the commas, capital letters, closing the inverted commas, and putting the full stop. <clears throat> Number five, the lady doctor said to the patient, comma, inverted comma, your mother, your, you see, Y is capital, your mother has come, inverted comma, full stop. Number six, my sister has two ox, four cocks, two mares, and one hen. Number seven, the Sultan told the portess to carry the princess to the palace. Number eight, he keeps drones, drakes, genders, and fillies. Number nine, the landlady and her husband are both away. Number 10, the nun played the part of the heroine. So this, this is the end of uh, <clears throat> your exercise five. So now the middle exercises between five and 10 are not included in your syllabus as per previous scheme of study. We are following the previous scheme of study till now. So the topic for exercise 10, exercise 10, here we'll start. The topic for exercise 10 is agreement of the subject with its verb. Means subject and the verb should agree with each other. Read these sentences carefully. No one, the boy runs fast. The boy runs fast. Now you see boy is a noun and runs is a verb. So the uh, now boys run fast. I am a good boy. <clears throat> we are good boys. <coughs> <laughs> he is brave. They are brave. Number four, a man is running. Some men are running. The above sentences make it clear that a verb must agree with its subject in number and person. Now you see the in red color there are verbs. 
when we change the singular to the plural we make certain changes read these sentences carefully now <clears throat> two more uh, to work hard is noble number two smoking is bad habit the above sentences make it clear that it is the subject if the subject is infinitive or a gerund the verb is the third person the verb is in the third person singular <clears throat> like smoking is a gerund okay smoking is a, is a verb and with an ing it is called gerund and to work work infinitive you cannot measure how much work <clears throat> whether it is time, uh, it is measured in co uh, quality quantity or duration <clears throat> read uh, so it is infinitive N next is read the following sentences carefully the flock was grazing the flock were running in different direction now was and were <clears throat> The above sentences make it clear that collective nouns are followed by a singular verb if they express oneness, otherwise by a plural verb. So exercise number 10, <clears throat> take a word, take, a, uh, take one word or set of words from the column A and one from column B and put them together so as to make sentences now students you will write first like it is written on the uh, on the exercise with the <clears throat> with, with the same sequence like uh, at number one the donkey is not for sale the cows has stored much wealth to get up early does not like idle boys. Walking roads, a herd of cattle is a good exercise. A greedy man barks at his strangers. The teacher is very hot at Sibi. My dog are grazing in the field. The loin is a beast of burden. It is a good habit. Now these seem to be jokes. But we have to join the correct uh, part of column A with the correct part of column B. So here we have done some counting. If we see uh, number one, the donkey, find out number one, is a beast of burden. Number two, the cows are grazing in the field. Number three, to get up early, is a good habit number four walking is a good exercise number five a herd of cattle is not for sale number six the greedy man has stored much wealth number seven the teacher does not like idle boys number eight my dog barks at strangers Number nine, the loin roads. Number 10, it is very hot at Sibi. Now students, <clears throat> you will write A and B column and you will write the full sentences. Uh, like in a straight row, not make a, a, a cross lines or, or, or li write like and this you will write in the good sequence in your notebooks whatever we are doing you you are supposed to do in notebooks exercise number 11 fill in the blanks with a r or m <clears throat> this is also done for you a hunter is laying a trap a hunter is now you see hunter and is are uh, corresponding like noun and verb are uh, corresponding clouds now this plural are 
we are supposed to is r or m m is for i and is for singular and r for plural a dove is sitting on the branch of the tree the class is marching to the playground a troop of children is playing now it is a troop is a collective noun and uh, <clears throat> will be considered as singular so is playing in the street to obey our parents is our duty obey this is about the obeying running is a good exercise i am in the habit of getting up early number 9 when a lion roars animals are afraid number 10 the fleet is sailing tomorrow so this is it for today uh, we are uh, uh, almost finished uh, about um, uh, some part of the uh, writer grammar chapter 1 uh, today we have done uh, exercise uh, uh, 4 5 10 and 11 inshallah in the next session we will complete exercise 13 14 and 15 of the writer grammar now students you are supposed to um, this is your homework and this is your class work when whenever you are free i'm not going to ask you to show me uh, if you have any problem you can uh, ask me you, you have my number on the facebook on the school facebook uh, you have everybody's number actually so you can uh, send me whatsapp and ask question if you want to share anything or any problem you can but you 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 should uh, complete this written work in your notebook and show it to your parents and your parents should also monitor you in completing uh, your homework and assignments this is uh, for you to uh, be in touch with the study and don't waste your time this is very critical time this is very dangerous time as far as this uh, corona virus is concerned we are doing our best to keep you busy and keep ourselves busy so your cooperation is required and we want your prayers and uh, anything uh, we can do for you we are here so best of luck and see you next time till now bye bye assalam alaikum